to Celebrity Radio, it's Alex Belfield talking to some of the country's biggest stars and some of my favourite people, and we've got one for you today. The star of Dirty Dancing, the classic story on stage. It's a musical, and it has the delicious Kira in it. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Well, I'm not as good as you. You've got everything. I mean, you can sing, you can <laughs> dance, you look delicious, you're a great actress. You've got it all, really, haven't you? Thank you so much. I love the delicious. <laughs> I saw this show when it opened in the West End and I couldn't believe what I saw. It's the only show I've ever seen where people get to the lines before you've said them. I mean, it's a party, isn't it? And people know what they're getting and they love it. I know. It's so crazy. Like, it's such a well-known movie and like, I've actually been on stage and so, like it's happened quite a few times now where I've gone to say a line but someone in the audience has said it before me so I suppose it's a good thing if I ever do forget my lines and someone can just stand in for me it's incredible and the atmosphere in the room is brilliant I mean you've kind of got to love the film and want to be a part of it to enjoy it because there's a lot of in jokes aren't there this this film is 30 years old but the people who are watching it in their 40s now and 50s I mean they get it don't they they get the in gags and they love the music music i know it is just one of those things where everyone does know it's got so many iconic lines in there as well that the audience do get and like you say the music is just so iconic especially time of my life and everyone's up dancing and singing along with at the end it's such a good vibe for us on stage we absolutely love it when everyone's enjoying themselves because we feed off of that too can you believe your luck when they said we want you to start as baby in dirty dancing the musical because it doesn't get much bigger or better than that really does it it's an I ultimate know. leading role yeah, I know. I, I really couldn't believe it. I, re I really wanted the part. I've done the show before, but I did it as a dancer. And um, I understudied Baby on the last tour. So I came back and I auditioned for Baby this time. And I was obviously really nervous. And I didn't expect anything because I knew there were so many people that go and audition for this. And there's so much talent out there. But when I got the phone call, it was just, I was beside myself hearing what my agent was telling me because I did, like I said, want it so badly. And now here I am doing the show every night as baby and let's face it you get to steal it i mean michael might have the abs and he might be uh, a nice bit of trouser but you have to be the cute one if you get it wrong and pitch it wrong the show doesn't work there is a responsibility and it's a proper acting role isn't it i know i think there's only like um maybe three or four minutes where i'm off stage <laughs> there's a lot of running around and acting and dancing like it is it is full on but I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. It's absolutely brilliant. I enjoy every second of it. What's it like when you walk out on that stage and the pin focuses on you and they cheer at you before you've done anything, which is always thrilling. You've then got to deliver. Yeah. Um, that must be just wonderful. I mean, it's every actress's dream, really. It really is, honestly. When like you hear the music, the music starts and like it's just such an adrenaline rush when you're waiting off stage and that music comes on and then the lights come on and you're on stage and then there's like thousands of faces just looking at you like because they're all expecting like they know what they're going to see and there's a lot of pressure to do it but it's just such an incredible feeling mm. it really is you said earlier that you were in the show before so they knew who you were and i suspect they had their eye on you but do you ask yourself why you i mean they could pick anyone there's more girls going to theater school than ever there's more talent out there than ever and they chose you i mean what a compliment yeah. I know, absolutely, like, it is absolutely amazing, but, like, I worked really hard um, at dance school, and um, I continue to work hard when I got out, and that's what it is as well, like, you put it, you get out what you put in, really, and, like, you just got to keep going, I mean, there's been many times where I've been to auditions and haven't got the job, like you say, there's so many girls out there that are performers, and the, like, the, the competition that is, like, high, and the talent is just insane, so, when I got this role, it's like, such a like amazing feeling but at the same time it's like yes it's paid like the hard work has paid off like mm. it does show and then there's the responsibility that you've got to deliver each night when you go out there i know from other people in the cast who've told me you take it incredibly seriously because you have to this is a proper job it's eight times a week and you've got to deliver i mean the the parting and all that has to come second doesn't it because you've got to be match fit to do this show which is really quite testing i mean you're never off the stage and when you are you've got to give it your all yeah, no, definitely. It's like such a big responsibility as well. And especially because the audience come and they've like, they paid money for these tickets and they they are excited to see it as well. And you don't want to let the audience down by like, if you were to say like, go out and 
then not be putting on your best performance. You don't want to do that. You get the thrill out of the audience um, enjoying themselves. And the feedback we've been getting has been absolutely brilliant as well, which is such a great thing for us to hear as well, that we know that it, what we're doing is a really good job for everyone. I saw it um, in Birmingham recently. I saw the original tour in Manchester and I saw it in the West End and I've never felt a feeling like it uh, for a long time. There is a sense of community about it and you don't get that very often where everybody's on the same page, often ahead of the game. The love for this film just grows and grows. It is a timeless story. They call it the classic story, but it's timeless, isn't it? It really is, I know. And the fan base for it is absolutely amazing. Like all these women come and they've got the watermelon tops and we've actually had a couple before sitting in the front row with Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze masks <laughs> on as well they're like die hard fans for it and like everyone knows the words the songs like the characters and it is just so iconic and yeah the audience absolutely love it Congratulations, you are utterly adorable and you have that cuteness and that's the key to this. You've got to be able to knock it out the park professionally but you've also got to have that vulnerability, haven't you, and make it real. This is a love story at heart. Yeah, no, it is. She falls in love for the first time and you've really got to show that. I'm just wondering whether, you know, if Michael has a night off, I'm a deeply unattractive man, I'm ginger, I've got a dad belly and very small private parts as well. I I'm wondering if you could put a word in with the producers for me to audition. I'd, I'd like to have a go at Absolutely. it. Absolutely. What do you think? Absolutely. A bit of versatility in the cast, that's what we need. We Johnny with abs, boring. <laughs> You're over it, aren't you? Hey, listen, congratulations on everything. You're a big star and it's such a huge show and stage and you conduct the show beautifully and you're at the heart of it and you do a great job. Kira, thank you so much thank for your you time. Thank you so much. Thank you.